fate frowns, we all perish. And my name is Mr. Emi Chio. Welcome to Penumbra Overture. And this is episode one because this is the first game of the Penumbra series, which I learned after trying to play the other one for this. <laughs> and, uh,. Figured out, hey, this seems like this is uh, the middle of something. So, <laughs> I went and uninstalled that and re and installed this one. <laughs> and uh, here we are. So, you guys might be wondering, why am I playing this when I am already working on three other games? It is because I have been tagged, ladies and gentlemen. I've been, been I've been tagged by two girls, one game, Ivy and Fix to play a horror game for my channel. And uh, this one has been in my Steam library for many years. And why that? Why is that? It is because I'm a bad consumer. I, bought a bu I buy a bunch of games and never play them. And that goes for all platforms. So, I've never played this. <clears throat> Uh, but I do know that the people behind this are the people who made the Amnesia series as well as the uh, Soma, which recently came out. So, without further ado, let's get into this. I'm gonna go into normal. My story began in February, year 2000. All right. For my part in this allegory, I'm not going to make the same mistakes my father made. Howard vanished from my mother's life before I was even in it, so when he sent me a letter a few days after Mum's funeral, it was the first I'd ever heard from him. Pity he was dead. Writing from beyond the grave must be a genetic habit in my bloodline. His letter contained a key, instructions, pleas for forgiveness, I figured the dead don't have much use for absolution, so I turned to his prophetic passing, which he inexplicably expected to come any day. Clearly averse to explanations, my father preferred to leave directions to a bank on Mayfair I'd never even heard of. In that bank was a safety deposit box in his name, and myself as executor. Of course, I went as he knew I would. I discovered that despite the evidence, he'd been legally declared dead almost 30 years ago and said the old book and collection of notes I found had, in the eyes of the law, been mine all this time. My father's instructions were to burn the documents, raise no further questions. But that was his error. No man's immune to the shameful trappings of curiosity, and my humanity got the better of me. The university I taught at was world-renowned for two things, physics and linguistics. I represented the first, and the man who stood for the second was stumped by my recent acquisition. The book was indecipherable. The notes, however, showed a location somewhere in uninhabited northern Greenland. All right. It took me almost a year to book the last flight I'd ever take. As I watched civilization disappear along with Heathrow, I realized my father had disappeared three decades ago, almost to the day. And I considered in turn what it was that I was leaving behind. We landed on a strip of ice a few feet wide and within minutes I was pulling away on a chartered boat, beginning the 12 hour journey that would lead me into my past. Alright, so with that beginning narration, I could surmise that we are playing as Philip. I mean, yeah, Philip. Uh, finally, we are almost docked. I'd better stow my gear. I may be far from home, but chances are I can still pick things up using left mouse. <laughs> and I can take a closer look at things with the right mouse. Okay. Uh, pick things up with the left mouse. Yeah, Jack Daniels. Do they have the uh, license to use that in this game? And I drop this. Oh, waste of booze. <laughs> okay, check that. A good scientist always keeps a pen and paper handy, just in case. Pick that up. Always good to have a notebook to 
jot down interesting information and reminders. I think I left my torch in the desk drawer next to the bed. It can be opened using a hold on it, using the button down and uh, moving the mouse. This drawer. Uh, there is a torch. Flashlight switches can on and off by uh, the in inventory or hopefully with a shortcut key F. Now there's an emergency glow stick. Should there be, should be in the locker. Keys in my inventory. Tab. So tab key. Put that there. Move the chair. Oh, the locker's over here. Now I've only played the the. Uh, some extra batteries to power my flashlight. The demo for for Amnesia and it really plays pretty similarly. Could go could come in handy if the torch runs out of batteries. I should be able to access it through my inventory. That should be everything I need to get out before the dark. What's in this chest though? Aha! Dearest Eric, just a quick note before you set sail leave me once again if you left a little I've left you a little something to remember me by the chest at the foot of your bed I really don't know why you still only have one bed on board taking shifts because of it is no way to get your rest but what does a fisherman's wife know it of life at sea I'll be praying every night for you to make the catch you need so that you can come home to me safely and soon Please don't be gone for five weeks like last time. I know I might nag sometimes, but I do love you, you know. I have watched those overalls of yours. I know you'll get them covered in assorted fish parts in no time. But I feel better knowing that you've had a wash. Before I forget, the Henriksons in the village have asked me to see if you'll be coming by any trout. I said they were mostly out of season. If you do happen upon any, don't say anything. Stow them well in ice and I'll do something special with them to celebrate when you come home to me. The ship's captain deserves a little special treatment once in a while. Take care, my love. And I just took that, <laughs> that note. Wow. And uh, Jack Daniels. Okay, well, let's leave it there. It's his after all. I already took the note. Okay, what's this can? Oh, can I look at that? Nope. Okay, as I was saying, the controls do feel like uh, they do in the Amnesia Dark Descent demo. As I stepped off the boat, setting into the blizzard that had formed around me, I realized how utterly devoted I'd been to the discovery of my father's past. I had no idea what to expect. Soon enough, my concerns were justified. I don't know whether I lost my orientation or my spirit first, but I lost feeling in my extremities soon after. I knew hyper hypothermia was setting in. I started looking for shelter. Okay, here we go. So cold, I don't know where I am. Need shelter soon. Alrighty. Okay, can't stay still. My entire head went numb long ago, but I can still hear the wind roaring past. Or this? That's going too fast. I can't finish reading it. Okay, that's some uh, very neat effect. What the hell is that? I don't care. I need shelter. It looks like frozen shut. I need something to break it. A flare? No. Uh, crud. That's uh, that's a wolf I heard. Um, looks like G. G. Can't, can't use that. Uh, how do I get in? Ah, uh, boy. Do I need to find something else here? Ok, 
Okay. Okay, here's some rocks. Okay, let's bring a rock over there. Break some of that ice that's formed around the the valve or thing. In interact mode I can to swing the stone more accurately. That wasn't accurate at all. Okay. I hope to god that yeah, that was uh, too fast of, for me to finish reading. Okay, open it. There you go. Get in there. Okay. Oh, it's dark. Flashlight? Nope. Not in control? Yeah, I wasn't in control, okay. Uh, Jesus, my head. I can't believe I fell that far and survived. Although looking around, maybe I didn't. What is this place? A heavy looking wooden barrel. Could be anything inside it. Okay, yeah, I can't. Yeah, it's, it's really heavy. I can only push it around. Okay. Empty boxes of ammunition. What is this place? A bunker, obviously. That is a pretty far drop. And I didn't even close the hatch. Okay. Let's uh, see. What is this? Move that away. Move that away. Basic wooden door. Okay, push that open. Anything in here? What is this? A 24-hour ration pack, long past its sell-by date. So, nope. Okay, so when I played the the tutorial for uh, the other penumbra, let's see, I can swing the hammer if I hold left mouse, I can make the swing, click the right mouse button, right when uh, follow through, pushing left. The opposite works too, pulling back and thrusting forward produces a stabbing motion. I reckon if I hold down rice mutton after the swing, I should still be able to look around. What? So, let's see. So... Okay. Uh, what is this? Flare. I see. And this is... These shelves are old as everything else around here. Could be over 50 years since anyone's been down here. Okay, so when I played the the tutorial for the other Penumbra game, the blue around the screen means that I'm sneaking or hidden. Oh, oh I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, that's another flare. All right. Well, let's go through the door. It's stuck. It must be something in the way. There must be something. I jotted down a note just in case. Okay, can I move these shelves? Uh, no. Empty boxes of ammunition. What is this place? Okay. So, there's something in its place. Can I... Can I break it down with the hammer? No, I guess not. Okay, there is a door. No wonder I couldn't open the door. Another door that doesn't open this from this side. God damn it. Oh, look, another flare. Cool. Uh, pick it up. There you go. Okay, well, let's check what we have over here. Ah, okay. There we go. So, I'm guessing I can pull. Come on, I want to bash these. The hole's been boarded up long ago. The wood looks pretty soft now. Yeah, that's why I thought I'm I'm supposed to bash these, right?
There we go. Now into the hole. What was that sound? It sounded like digestion. Okay, two places. Let's go here first. Uh, probably gonna get lost. Okay, they just went around. Okay, never mind. What is this? Looks like some sort of industrial mechanism, although there's a hole in the center and no way to operate it. So I need something to put in there then. Whoa! Okay. The hatch is seriously solid. It won't open by hand. Someone obviously wanted to keep people out or in. What was that? Okay. Let's uh, move that out there. Okay, I'm... Oh, it was a barrel that was uh, blocking the way. Okay, I see cracks. Wait, maybe I need to just push something heavy on it. Okay, probably not. Can I hammer the barrel and break it? No, guess not. Okay, well... Do I use these to... Nah, this is too big for that hole. I need, I need some sort of pipe or something like that. Anything in my inventory? No. Hey, three flares. Where did I get three flares? I'll move you. Can I move this? No. Can I get any of the planks, boards, whatever? No. Okay. Well, let's see. Go here again. Maybe I missed something. Okay, that goes around. There. What if I go down here? Okay. That's where that goes. Huh. I really need something to put in that mechanism. Uh, what's this? Oh wait, there, there, there's a pipe. There's our steel rod. There we go. I didn't not see that steel rod. Okay. Move it. Move the rod. Okay, it's open now. It's opening. Let's open it further. Okay, we can't. Okay. There you go. Whatever I was descending into, it was a hundred feet below ground, protected by two solid metal hatches, located in a remote arctic wilderness, and buried beneath the snow. I didn't know what to expect, but I, it made me feel something I hadn't felt since I was a child. I'd never given it much thought before, but I realized that our entire society is a network of safety nets, emergency services at the end of a phone line, health and safety in the workplace, friends, family, lovers. All there if something goes wrong. Part of a carefully designed structure to prevent all but the most mundane of emotions. Once again, I felt like I did when I was in school. Surrounded by a closing ring of older kids, knowing anyone might, that might help me, friends, parents, teachers, or too scared or too far away. Also, I'm saying this now, but I'm... Uh, 
playing this in the dark with the headset and the only light source is the TV in front of me, the keyboard below the, uh, in front of that and the laptop to the right of me. There could be anything living down here. Heroics are for Hollywood actors and fairy tales. I'm not taking any chances. If it, if it, if I face off against anything down here, I won't stand a second. Caution and stealth, my only defenses now. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> if anyone or anything hears me, I'd best off. I'd be best off staying low and out of sight until I know whether or not it's a threat. Crouching, pressing control will give me a chance to hide in shadows. I know I've got to got it right because of the blue tint to my vision. Plus, I should be, be quiet enough that I won't be heard unless something's right on top of me. Better remember to shut off any light sources though. Okay, so... Sam Fisher in a horror game. My best bet is to hide for a couple of seconds so or so perfectly still to make me properly hit it. Okay, this looks good. Like that, I'll be virtually invisible. After some time, I should get my vision back provided I stay still. Okay, I'm hidden. And I'm staying still. Uh... Okay, sure, whatever. I guess that's that for the tutorial then. This place must be old if there were if they were using paraffin lamps. Looks like there's some juice left. Can I take it? No, I cannot. That's a map. Your location. Circle. Office, storage, workshop, explosives. Explosives! Okay, so this is uh, some sort of bunker. Okay, they got arrows. So whatever is down here, I gotta stealth my way and hide from whatever it is. So, to-do list. Mattress of a cave uh, must be another way out. Notes. Nope. All right. So, I don't see anything that I'm, I'm still crouch, by the way. <laughs> Large wooden box. Oh, <laughs> these, these rocks scared me. <laughs> okay. So, I'm completely hidden. This way to the office. Uh, that's gonna be locked, isn't it? Nope. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. Okay. So, is it safe here? Open that. Lock. Need a key. Pick that up. There might be some keys in here. Nope. What is that? Beef jerky. Okay. It's probably some health item. Okay, nothing there. Typewriter dates back to further than the war. Made in Germany, 1923. Cool. Uh, what is this jar? A bottle of Backstrom might come in handy. What is Backstrom? Military report dated 1945. Commander, Command Bunker, Emergency Airship Zulu, Airstrip Zulu, Weekly Report. See, it is a bunker. Another unremarkable week in Greenland. Regular supply shipment received, standard emergency drills carried out, routine runaway, blah 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 blah. The one wounded figure is no cause for concern back in London. The Germans have extended their front line. Okay, so this is in uh, World War Two. Uh, by 4,000 miles, two men were caught manufacturing cherry bombs in our workshop armory and succeeded in blowing off a couple fingers. <laughs> Crazy guys. 
I take partial responsibility for this, as you should, and note that I allowed them access to the demolitions manual. We need to keep the storeroom, and I we need manual we keep in the storeroom. And I'm sure that's where they learned the ingredients. As a precautionary measure, I now have locked up the manual in the chest in my office. We'll keep the key on my person at all times, so I need to find this guy's corpse. Needless to say, both men have been disciplined, and the injured man has been sent home for medical care. I cannot help but think that a more suitable punishment would have been for him uh, to say out there here, but the matter is out of my hands. The base is so disconnected sometimes I feel it as a war. Uh -huh. Reconditioning the mind continues to progress the structure that fortified. Oh. Who? It's 1.34 and someone sends me a text message. Uh, one point of curiosity is some kind of archaeological find, an artifact buried in the earth and discovered by one of the work teams later this evening. After martial duty, I shall take a closer look at the artifact. It appears to be man-made and may have working parts inside. I shall remove what looks like the front cover and, I, and see if I can't discover the source of the light which constantly emanates from it. Chief NCO M. Major. Really, they can't think of a different name than M major okay so what is this though that's an old artifact okay an, a man an old man clutching some unseen he is strange and yet he is no stranger I've never seen him before still I know this man before me is Howard I call him father Okay, Erg, what the hell just happened? I don't know if that was such a good idea. Alrighty. These open? Yes. Okay, how about the other one? Batteries! Okay. Alrighty. So is that everything that I can get in this room? No. There's still, there's still some filing cabinets here. Uh, Alright. And then... Hey, what's this? Well, I'd prefer a first aid kit, but at least if I'm injured, I can grin and bear it. Painkillers. Gonna go max pain on me in here. Hey, what's this? Beef jerky, not without aroma. It's gotta be rotten out, right? Or does jerky not rot? Or go bad? Okay, so that's it for that. I need to find the M Major's corpse and find the key to the locker, uh, to the chest in here. To get, be able to get into the munitions uh, explosives place and uh, be there to make bombs, maybe? I don't know. Maybe there's something in there. Alright. So. <clears throat> Workshop. Okay, there. Has this uh, music played before? Uh, the last time I was here. Uh, no. I need to see the map again. Storage room. Okay. Let's go to the storage room. Uh, I really hope that the... My ringtone didn't get picked up by the microphone. Okay, where does this go? That does not go anywhere. Uh, it just circles around, right? Storage room. This way. And I'm uh, going behind the crates 
just so I can hide from whatever it is that was uh, attacking that Greek that goes down here. Is that gonna say storage room? Yes. There's the door to the storage room, alright. I should probably wrap this up, because this uh, recording is already 31 minutes. So, uh, again, I'd like to thank Two Girls One Game for giving me the upper for tagging me and uh, having me play this horror game uh, that's been sitting in my Steam library for, I'm gonna say, more than six years. It was this lighter. It's a Zippo lighter, but it's empty. This, if this lighter wasn't empty, it'd be handy thing to have. Plus fuel equals fire, happy. Uh, spiders equals sad. So the lock from the other side, that does mean there's someone still inside. I can hear chattering, thank god. I've jotted down a note just in case, okay. Wait. There's a carving here. Spiders equals sad. Uh, can't figure out what that lower... Oh! Some exhaust equals dead. And what is this? I don't know what that is. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, thank you for Two Girls One Game for giving me the opportunity to play this to, uh, to for tagging me rather and uh, having me play this uh, horror game which I rarely it's a genre I rarely play I mean I can probably count the number of horror games that I played on one hand and I wouldn't even be using all the five fingers uh... Now, I do have to tag five other content creators before I end this, so let's do that right now. First off is Sol x 64 I'm sorry, dude, but <laughs> I really can't think of any other person to do this. Uh, if it was different, but the same at that, that time, like I had more control, but over what? Okay, anyway, Sol x 64 uh, Aladale. I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's also a very good YouTuber. He plays uh, PC games. He's playing Hotline Miami 1 and uh, Quake right now. Uh, and then the third one is uh, Holy Apple. I don't know if he's been tagged for this yet. Uh, but if he hasn't, this is a <laughs> I'm uh, tagging him for it. Uh, and then it's Hulk Smash. Again, uh, I'm not sure if he has time to do this because he just get, put up a update on his channel saying that he got a new job and his uh, schedule's a bit different now. So, uh, hopefully he'll find some time to do this if he wants to. I mean... Again, this this isn't anything uh, that's required. If you, it's your choice if you want to do this or not. It's locked. Uh, and then the last one, because I I really can't think of anyone else to tag for this. Um, maybe Angry Gamer. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna. T so that's the five YouTubers that I'm gonna tag for this then. Salt X64, Aladale, Holy Apple, It's Hulk Smash, and Angry Gamer. Because uh, the other people that I have. What? Oh god, there's something else down here with me. I just can't wait for whatever's around the corner. I need to hide. Okay, well, 
I hear growling. So... Jesus, I've never been this scared in my life. I can feel my heart racing. If anything gets within more than a few feet of my hiding spot, I'd better not stare it out. Anything in my field of vision might make me panic. Okay, so I can't stare at whatever it is. So here we go. Here's the horror part of it. Okay, can't make a sound. Can't push that away. Okay. Oh boy. Anyway. Yeah, the people uh, I originally had in mind are uh, Cyber Houdini and uh, Miss Multi. Cyber Houdini already made a video being was uh, already tagged. I can't remember who tagged him. Might have been Angry Gamer. Oh jeez, that's that's making me panic. Oh god, it's a wolf. Oh god. Run, 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 run. Oh god. Okay, hopefully that's far enough. Nope, 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 nope. Keep running. Ah, oh, God. Oh, jeez. Uh. Okay, I'm in the office. <laughs> okay, that wasn't too bad. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ending this here. Uh, 37 minutes is a good time. And, uh, yeah. So... In case Angry Gamer's already been tagged, I might have to pick someone else. So... Let's see. No, Doctors Gaming is the one who's tagged Cyber Houdini. What am I thinking? Okay, so yeah. It stands then. Uh, Salt X64, Aladale, The Holy Apple, It's Hulk Smash, and Angry Gamer. The five uh, other content creators that I'm going to be tagging for this uh, horror game... Uh, challenge uh, and uh, the reason is because Cyber Houdini's already been tagged and uh, Miss Multi was tagged at the same time I was by a two girls one game which again thank you very much girls for uh, for choosing me to do this and uh, it was a uh, fun experience um, as I said I don't usually play horror games I don't even watch horror movies <laughs> uh, And uh, I'm not probably I'm probably not gonna be playing this much on the channel. I mean, this is of course a one-off, uh, but as a full playthrough, probably not on YouTube. I may try and play this on Twitch now that I've sort of figured out how how to my uh, my my hardware problem. With the streaming, it was apparently my network card that was uh, finicky. Oh, jot it down note just in case. Okay, so anyway, the link to my Twitch channel will be down in the description. I will also be announcing when I when I stream on Twitter as well as a short video on YouTube. I still haven't figured out a schedule yet for when I can do that. For when I can stream, rather. But when I do, I will announce it. I will make a video to announce it. Okay, I hear the wolf. So it's just a wolf that's, that's the uh, monster? Anyway. So, yeah. My name is Mr. E. Meat Shield. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click that subscribe button if you enjoyed watching it. Click that uh, like button as well if you did en if you enjoyed watching it. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next time. Hi, Mr. Emi Shield here, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, click that like button. If you didn't like it, feel free to click that dislike button. But also let me know what you didn't like about it in the comment section. That way, maybe I can change whatever it is for future videos. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button 
and you will keep be updated whenever I come out with new content. You can also share this video with anyone you think might enjoy it. If you want to follow me on Twitter or Facebook, the links will be down in the description. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down in the comment section. I'll be sure to read them, and I will do my best to answer all of them. As always, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all next time.